What's going on, everybody? This is All Things Entertaining here, bringing you with a brand new video. And today, we have the April 1st OCG ban list. Uh, so we're just going to take a look at it. There's actually quite a few things here that are quite noteworthy. So let's just jump right into it. So there's only three forbidden cards. There's the Jin Rilu Sir Rituals, uh, Guard Dragon LP, and Ib, the World Just card. Ib, World of Ib is just a straight copy-paste from our list. Um, we ban this for because it's good in a lot of combos and a lot of decks. Uh, and it's, it's probably just gonna be really insane when Master Roll Five comes out. So this is what they're, this is what they're all preemptively hitting all these cards is in, uh, is in a, is in a um, presumption of Master Roll Five. Um, the Jin, I actually didn't know this card was at three for the longest time, but that's insane. So it's good that this card is actually being dealt with. This card should never have been at, at any capacity. This card's way too insane. It's really good. It's really dumb. Uh, and LP. I think LP could feasibly get a hit on the ban list, as it could very well see it, because it's because it's just such a good extender. But I'm not sure if the OC or the TCG will go this route. We'll definitely have to see though. Um, so we have some pretty high, we have some uh, we have a lot of limits here and two cards that are notably highlighted. But we're going to go into this uh, in the order. So. We have ABC Buster Dragon. Like I said, a lot of this is just clean up for Master Roll 5. Um, ABC Buster Dragon, uh, Galatea, and Harpoor. I think these are actually hits because their meta is revolved around this deck. Still, uh, the OCG did not do a very good job last time dealing with these decks. So this is just uh, their way of dealing with it. Uh, Junk Speeder. Um, this is just a preemptive limit. I'm not sure why they limited this card. This card is probably ban-worthy or at 3. Um... Junk Speeder probably is. It, junk Speeder is the one that lets you summon Synchron monsters um, from your deck. So you probably will only play one of these cards anyway, um, most of the time. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Uh, Magyar the Destructor. Now, this did get an errata in the OCG, so we're going to open that, open up a new tab link, and we're going to read that real quick. Um, still, same stats, so why would they ever change it? They just made it a hard once per turn. And it still basically does the same thing as it used to do, is uh, you can activate graveyard, uh, trap cards from your hand uh, when this card is sent from the monster sent to the graveyard. Um, also, probably another note, probably no, 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 noteworthy thing is it also says monster zone. So, like, if you um, equip it with Union Hanger and you uh, send it, send whatever it is to the graveyard, uh, uh, we uh, you, you don't get the effect to activate traps from your hand, so that's a very key difference here. Um, wind up carrying with Zen Many and Wind Up Magician. It feels like we're going back to 2013. That's kind of crazy. Um, I didn't expect this to be hit at all. Um, it's definitely not necessary. I don't think wind ups is that good after Master Rule 5. Um, but I guess if it, they're just embracing for worst case scenario i guess i guess that they have to hit all these things they have to hit everything um so red as a dragoon and to that ex oh actually we skipped the card spiral quick fix uh because again spiral is actually a part of their meta so it is it, i mean we have this at one and it's still pretty good deck over here um Dragoon to Red Eyes. Um, people are actually really thinking this card should probably also go to one in here preemptively. I don't think it'll actually go to one here preemptively, but it definitely is a very strong card. It, it definitely probably will get its its, it's way on the ban list. Um, Red Eyes Fusion also, that that is actually more impactful than the Dragoon is actually going to one because now the consistency for Red Eyes Fusion is just not there anymore. Um, so yeah, it's definitely interesting. Uh, Hyper Labrian pretty good card again this is just like a, uh, a reaction to master rule five um same thing with like the next three cards actually uh trisha of cyberstein as well um these cards are just really good for synchros uh, uh, those two really good synchros and cyberstein is really good because it summons cards for basically free um no effort whatsoever um it's still pretty good. People might still opt to play the one Cyberstein. Uh, actually, they might they might be opt to play playing it more so because of that one. Um, but you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, part of the plant or for Scorpio and part of the plant to Verte Anaconda. Um, we probably won't see these hit this hit particularly on the ban list because we're just about to get um, the part of plant link. Um, or for Scorpio is kind of interesting. They actually just put this back to three. If you bliss ago if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure if that's if it's that 
and re relevant over there. Uh, sure, getting any fusion card that you want seems pretty good, but I think that it's really kind of fine. I think it's cool. I mean, we kind of need searcher cards for the unsearchable cards, right? It, it's kind of neat. It's kind of a necessary evil, in my opinion. But for for the Anaconda, it's definitely kind of crazy. But being able to fusion summon basically anything that you want is pretty dumb. Uh, totally awesome. This is the second time it's been on the on the limited list. Um, again, preemptive hits towards the thing that you don't want in a totally awesome or totally hero shenanigans going on here. Uh, Link Cross. I actually don't remember what this card does per se um let me let me uh oh, oh, what whatever 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 missing a certain file apparently but uh i guess when cross is apparently really good uh far as darkness metal dragon also received an errata um, where, you, where it's also basically a hard ones per turn too, um, so yeah, it does basically the same thing. This is it's just hard ones per turn, guys, uh, but still pretty decent, decent, still pretty interesting. In Instant fusion. Uh, I'm actually clamoring for this, to be honest with you. Instant fusion is actually one of those one of the one of the more busted cards in the entire game right now. I think it's pretty interesting. I think it's actually kind of a it's actually a really crazy card. Um, Trick Star Life Stage, uh, Brilliant Fusion, uh, in your hangar. Again, I guess just sort of responses to the uh, OCG. I don't know why Trick Star or Life Stage is even here. Um, I think after Master Roll 5, like, uh, Trick Stars get a little better, but not that much. Um, there's still a lot of problems with the deck, and putting Life Stage on the, on the hot seat is kind of just putting them in the unnecessary position here. A gateway to 6 to 1 uh, is definitely interesting. Uh, probably, I guess, again, they, if they're going to hit, like, a lot of these decks that are supposedly going to be very good again in the Master World, they might as well hit everything, so. Next, we have, uh, two Malicious. Um, Malicious is probably going to go to two here in the TCG as well. It's just an insane card. Draconet. I'm not sure we should even actually limit this card now, because it's not doing anything. Uh, Danger Nessie and Jackalope. They decided not to hit, um, Tsujinoko. Unless Tsujinoko's at two is in the OCG anyway. Which definitely would make sense, but that's interesting. A similar heritage. Um, I think we also have this card at three here in the TCG. For for those of you who do not know what this card does, it's um, it lets you kind of it's kind of like a premature burial for cards that you control extra extra copies of. So it's kind of interesting. I'm not sure if it's going to ever see play though. Unlimited, Candina to three, Ash Blossom, Baby Sarasaurus, Necrozza Unicorn. And debug. We already have debug at three, so nothing to really worry about there. Uh, these three cards, we already know the impact of these cards in the meta. We already know what they're doing, so there's a, there's no really there's really no need to go over them. But Necros and Unicorn, uh, shout out to you guys, to, to your Necros players. You guys lost your Jijin. You got your Unicorn back. You got your scary Floodgate back. Anyway, uh, that's all that we have this. I have to say about this. Uh, the list is just kind of dealing with the general problems of the of the metagame and future metagame so it's kind of okay <clears throat> nothing too spectacular um so i'm just gonna leave it off that uh, off at that it's a definitely a big list a lot of changes um so yeah this has been all things entertaining i'll see you guys in the next video signing out